Hey guys, how's it going? Miller here again, uh, giving you guys a quick update on my English Civil War stuff. This is one of the last pieces of my Avon Post miniatures that I got a few weeks ago. It's taken me a little while to get round to coming to do them. Been looking forward to doing them, so it's quite good to get them out of the way. Uh, it's just a small light cannon called a Falconet uh, on Avon Posts. You did have the opportunity to get a, a brass muzzle or brass barrel, sorry, for the um, replace this out, but I only went for the resin. Um, it's a lot cheaper, uh, but I still think it looks really nice. I quite like the difference with this. If I bring it a bit closer, um, the uh, the chain, this part here, is sort of a hexagonal shape, which I think is quite cool actually. Um, different. I haven't seen any other casts on the market uh, similar, and it's quite a narrow gun as well as opposed to some of the other Falconets, which are just smaller. It's narrow and long. And uh, yep, really fun to do. Um, I've been really slacking with my bases lately, so I haven't been bothering to get any uh, MDF ones, so I'm just sticking spare Perry's ones together, which I've had left over from my Wars of the Roses stuff, where I'm using the um, little round ones from Doodle Tech. Uh, but as well as that, what with the Avon Post, I've finally managed to get done uh, my musket block. So I didn't really know what to do the man's as most of my regiments have all got them and there's not very many regiments in my Eastern Association which are just uh, blocks of musket. But uh, there is information that says that um, they're not too sure whether or not the Earl of Manchester's regiment was red with green, which is what I've done it as, or green with red. Red, red, red. Uh, as in red jacket, green cuffs, or green jacket with red cuffs. So, there is evidence to show that he bought both. And because Earl of Manchester had a double regiment, they're unsure whether or not his regiment was split into two and had two different colours. But for what I've done, as I've done it so that his main block with his pipe, and, uh, his pipe block and two blocks of musket are um, red with green, as you've seen before, or may have seen before. Uh, and then with this additional commanded shot, as they have the command commander with a partisan in the middle and a drummer are green with red yeah so again really really nice to paint um, again I've got them on my uh, doodle tech movement movement trays uh, which have got the bit on the front to allow a bit of space for anybody who's got their guns uh, ready to fire obviously these ones are in marching positions or advance um, so you don't need it but I have one so they're gonna go on it uh, until I get hold of another regiment to use it uh, again, really nice. Definitely worth picking up having post uh, if you get round to it. Um, can't really compliment them enough. Uh, but what with them being uh, green and red like that, obviously leaves them open to be another regiment if I wanted to. So that is all, all of my Avon post figures painted, except for one, which was the commander for my. So I can get to zoom on all of them, which was the commander for my artillery piece. But with it being a light artillery piece, it looked a bit crowded. Um, so I've left him off and he will end up becoming uh, my commander of ordnance for the, uh, the Eastern Association, oh, probably camera, which was uh, Thomas Hammond. And he also commanded a, a regiment of flintlocks or the regiment of flintlocks or firelocks, sorry, for... The Eastern Association uh, and the fire locks would have been used to guard the barrel stores and the baggage train as what with powder you don't want a lit ember that you would have got from the match locks so um, they use the fire locks for that and would also obviously anyone else would end up using them later on in the English Civil War uh, as they just became more and more common uh, and that's it for them but with the large cavalry block that we had before that I was doing, Cromwell's one. Uh, I had painted them all. Bit of a sound there. I had painted them all in the contrast, but since I have gone back over and um, painted them with the brown, and then use and then use the contrast in the recesses, just to add a bit more shadow to them. So obviously, when they're, I'll move these out of the way. Most of them are drying at the moment, but I had a few that were left out on the side, which seems to have dried a bit quicker. So they actually look a lot nicer now and uh, 
what with there being two different regiments or two different blocks that I've done, I'm making it so that the back ones are. I didn't realise at the time when I ordered them, but they one lot seemed to be standing and the other seemed to be galloping. So the ones that are standing will be at the back, and the ones at the front will be the ones galloping, as if to say that they're just just pushing off. Um, and then obviously when I come to split them, you won't even realise the difference. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, try pushing the fort on a little bit more this weekend. Um, had a lot of trouble getting hold of some brown paint, so I tried making some. Uh, tried to find out how to do it, which was a bit of red, bit of orange. No, sorry, red, bit of red, bit of yellow, bit of blue, uh, and it all came out as purple. So uh, I used it anyway, just to base it, uh, base coat it, and then I'll go find a brown at some point, and I will go back and finish it off. Uh, and also this weekend, I've been watching a lot of the Vikings um, series. I've, I've got up to about series four, fell out with it. Or got bored of it. Been back watching it this weekend, and I've nearly finished season six. So I'll be cracking on with me Victrix Vikings when I get round to it. Uh, once the cavalry's finished. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Hope you're all well, and uh, catch you all later. Bye for now.